One thing we're going to be doing very soon is making a drawing panel and drawing all these on the screen, but I decided to create the drawing panel way later. If you scroll down for a while, I do create the drawing panel right here. Uh, so we're going to do quite a bit before we even do anything graphical. And the reason I did that is because I don't want to create a drawing panel uh, every time I run this, it'll slow it down. So that's why I just delayed creating the drawing panel until much later. So we just looked at set X. I'm skipping set Y for now. I'm going to instead come down here and these are the invalid set X. So I want to run these here. So I need to stop my comment from above. There's a couple ways to do this. I could take this, just move it down like that. I only want the set X's. All right, so I could do that, but I haven't done any of the set Y's yet. So I need to do something with these. So I'll do another multi-line comment, comment just those out. All right, so these are supposed to be invalid. So now let's look at what the sample output says. Here's all the set Y's. Here's all the invalid right here. Set X negative one. All right, so new X is supposed to tell us <clears throat> Negative one needs to be between zero and 300. All right. Where in the world's 300 come from? Let's first look at that. Well, we can see in peace, there's really not much going on in peace. So 300 comes from somewhere way up here. With right there. All right. This is public, meaning you can access it anywhere. Static means it belongs to the class. Final means it's constant and integer means it's a whole number. All right, and it's width. So let's go ahead and look again at the sample output. When we set X to negative one, it shouldn't set X to negative one. If you look, X does, the value of X doesn't change. It was 100, you try to set it to negative one, it doesn't set to negative one, it just does nothing. So if the value is not valid, it shouldn't do anything. All right, so let's look inside set X we need to check if X is valid before we just say, uh, if new X is valid before we just set our coordinate to equal new X. So if new X, uh, let's see, less than zero. Now, if it's negative, we want to do nothing. So here is new X. Here's the this is what should be printed when we try to set X with a negative value. So we're going to sout this. Boom. All right. Now, of course, it's not always going to be negative one. We should probably use the actual value of new X. There you go, new X, that value needs to be between zero and now it's not always gonna be 300. So let's look at how to put in that width. So it'd be nice if we could just go like that width, but what, no, what is width? The problem is width is not in piece, it's in lab four objects. Good news is it's easy to access it. You just do lab for objects dot width. And now you're saying use the width fields in the lab for objects. One nice thing you can do if you right click navigate, go to source or go to declaration is probably better. Control B. It'll take you to the definition of it where it's first created. So this width is set to 300. And so what's going to be printed out is 300. Go ahead, run. There we go. Set X negative one. Negative one needs to be between zero and 300. Uh, but if you look, we actually set the X coordinate to negative one. We should not have done that. We should have left it unchanged at 100. So we did put out the right error message, but we still let this happen. So how do we not do that? There's a few ways. This is probably the most straightforward way. 
If new x is negative, print that out. Else, meaning it's not negative, do this. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. This will work, it'll have the right effect, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different just because if else statements are difficult to read and annoying, do something else we can do we're inside of a method so we're inside the set x method so i'm going to return oops, i'm going to return nothing because this is a void so you can't return anything so meaning you can't put a number or a variable after this if i was going to return three this would need to say int but i'm returning nothing in a void so i'm still allowed to use a return statement what this does if new x is negative, it'll print, and then return means stop. Don't go any further in this method and just leave the method. So it'll return and it won't actually run this line. Here we go. Initial x is 100. We try to set to negative one. Here's the correct error message. And here you can see x is still 100. All right. Next up, we're going to try to set the x to 301. What should the output be? We're going to look at the sample. Set x to 301. And if you look, x does not get set to 301. So new x says 301 needs to be between 0 and 300. So 301 is too big. So again, don't change the x value. All right, how do you do that? Well, you could do something real, sim real similar here. Because I did not do the if else, this is actually much easier to do. All I need to do is repeat that. Now clearly this needs to change. You're not testing if x, new x is negative. You need to test if it's too big. And you should have enough information just looking at what's in here. And you're going to look at your sample output. It's a different error message. Oh, just kidding. It's the same error message, except you just need to put the value in. All right, so I'm going to let you go ahead and take care of that. And that should be basically it for set X.